Welcome, people of Earth. How's everybody doing this morning? I got about two hours of sleep. Give a minute, see who pops in here. Find my cutting board. It's been a while since I used it. There it is. Hey, Michi, how you doing? First responder, what's up, brother? I was up to like 11 and I probably maybe slept till 2. And yeah, so I'm going to cook some breakfast. Can't sleep, might as well eat, right? Throw something together real quick. Crap I found in my fridge. About time for some uh, shopping also, so. Throw a burner on here. Show you how Senior Land on rolls in the kitchen here. It's been a while since I did an episode of my cooking show. Appreciate you, Mitchy. Got my amazing pan here from my sister Annabella. I've nicknamed him uh, Peter Pan. Because if anybody ever breaks into my house, oh, I'm going to send them to Never Never Land. Hey, Yanny, how you doing? Love you. We're going to get this pan heating up here. I'm going to pull out the big knife here. Get these babies going. Got the oven heating. I had a can of biscuits in my fridge here. I'm going to make some biscuits and gravy here, Mitchie. About half this onion. Put the other half away for later. Catherine TV, hello. This onion's a little old and sitting in the fridge for a while, so peel a couple layers off there that don't look so good. There you go. Good onion. Down here, as you don't see my chopping skills here. I go along and hold my onion together like so and slice her up. Then I sit her down, split it in the middle, go around here like this. I'm not even going to use uh, store-bought gravy this time. I'm just going to use my uh, store-bought biscuits. Okay, throw that in there. Get those babies roasting up. And get us a spatula here or a spoon or something to stir it with. Um, a spoon because a spoon would be better for serving. Okay, and then uh, about shopping time, but hey Kevin, what's up, brother? We can get some uh, I got a couple uh, jalapeno cheddar sausages that need to be used. We'll pretty much just clean out the fridge here. These are smoked too. You can see the dark color to them. They've been smoked out of the bottom. <laughs> Cut them down the middle so we have smaller pieces here. More pieces. And 
going to lay these two side by side. And just go down and chop them real quick. Let's see all the. Let's see, we'll show you. The cheese and jalapenos in there. That'll be good. Hey, heterogeneity. How you doing, my friend? Get these going and then we'll throw our biscuits in real quick. We're just uh, kind of cleaning out the fridge this morning. we we'll go grocery shopping and get some stuff. Might do a big Christmas dinner video or something here. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, get that stuff all cut up and going in the pan there. Light's kind of a little glary there. Keep stirring it. Don't burn. My, my awesome cast iron skillet. I love these things. Turn the heat down a little bit. This thing's whole heat, so good. They cook good. Okay, so get our things here. So it's 350 for 13 to 16 minutes. Peel here. Here you go. We'll set our timer for 13, and we'll watch them till they're golden brown. I just push my finger in here. It says to use a spoon, but. Hey Manila boy, how you doing brother? Miss Choco Joy with her upcoming birthday. Everybody make sure you're connected to Choco Joy. Go to her birthday grand live stream. Maybe you win an awesome prize. There we go. Fits perfect on my sheet like so. Pop them down here in the oven. Set our timer for 13 so we don't burn them. We'll check them periodically. Sausage and onions going in. Gonna need some milk. About two, three cups of milk here. And we're gonna need some flour. Okay. Keep the flour in the bag in the freezer. having a hard time getting out of bed by seven this morning I've been up since like two so I wake up I just don't want to get out of bed I'm comfortable <laughs> okay this cooking good here. wait till our sausage is cooked good and our uh, onions down them onions so they're nice and soft. Hey, learn with Kanzada. How you doing, my friend? Careful, my eye kind of itches and I got a onion on my hand. So, find out if I'm going to have to flush my eyes out here in a minute. <laughs> How's everybody doing this beautiful morning? There's my Amazing friend El Yang. She come to have some breakfast. Good 
This is going to be a super simple, super easy recipe. Real cheap. See, I'm just using what's left in my fridge. <clears throat> Unfinished project? What's up, brother? I didn't even open my YouTube side here. Might do that so you can give people wrenches if they don't have one. And this Chuckle Joy will be live here in about 40 minutes. Let's see here. Separate my YouTube off here and bring it to a new window. Keep StreamYard over here. Oh, just gonna make some biscuits and gravy with what's left out of my fridge here, unfinished. Fridge needs cleaned out so I can go grocery shopping. So we're just using some jalapeno cheddar sausages I got and some onions and uh, some milk and flour. Make us some uh, country gravy. Making some uh, biscuits in the oven. Got to mute my YouTube side here. Okay, now let's see if we got anybody in these wrenches. And I can like my own live stream. How about that? Yeah, I thought learn with comes out of the uh, wrench there. Stand. Give you a jacket. Mm, heterogeneity rocks. Boom. <laughs> I've just seen your comment. Yeah, hope I save some pennies with the prices. I'm pretty good at bar bargain shopping. <laughs> Why did everybody say hold the onions? How oh, you put onions in everything. Mm -hmm. No, it's starting to stick to the pan here. Got to season it up a little bit. Onions keep sticking. <laughs> I swear everybody says hold the onions. I grew up on onions. This is something we get from our farmer friends, so what was in everything because it was free. <laughs> yeah, I probably got maybe two or three hours of sleep, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, I was going to. Go drive to town and go have breakfast or something, and then I was like, nah. Why waste the money? I have things that need cooked here. I thought I had a gravy packet, but guess not, so. We'll just make it because gravy is like the easiest thing ever to make. I like purple onions best, but I have this white one that needs used in the bottom of the fridge, so it's getting used. Okay, now we're going to sprinkle about a third cup or so flour in here. I give people measurements to try to guesstimate because I don't measure. Cooking so dang long, I uh, just go for it. Spill that all over my coffee maker. Put a little bit of oil in here. Man, that's a brand new thing, oil.
Hey, Envious, what's up, brother? Put a little oil in here. Fry that stuff up. Brown one. What you're going to do is just kind of mix this around the flour and with your sausage and whatever. You're going to brown it. You want the flour to brown just a little bit. Put a little oil in there with it. Get something to brown with. Like raw onions, huh? Yeah, you always acquire a taste for new stuff sometimes, too, yeah. I try stuff. But growing up, mostly because my mom really couldn't cook it that well, I didn't eat chicken. I think my mom always made it kind of mushy. Too much juicy in it and stuff, and I'm like, mm, I don't like that. Okay, now we're going to add some milk. Probably about two cups of milk. We'll watch it here once it starts cooking. See if it gets too thick, we'll add more. Just gonna boil it, get that to boil a little bit. Once it starts boiling a bit, then we'll. Uh, Drop it down and just let it simmer. Might put a little more uh, flour in there. Sticking the flour sticking the bottom a little so scrape it loose with the spatula. There we go. That'll get things loosened up. Hey Miss Pisces, how you doing my friend? Hey, have a good one on finish. Good to see you, brother. <clears throat> yeah, hit USA. My night bottle drop your link there. Y'all can get connected. Appreciate everybody coming out this morning. Supporting my, my little cooking stream here. Like Mike picking up just nice. Already starting to get thick. So. Almost done it right. See if you get it going and it's too thick, add a little bit more milk until it gets how you want it. Get the camera up here a little so you guys can see. Let's see. Turn my light on under there. Here's my sausage gravy cooking. It's starting to boil, so we're going to turn it down. Just simmer it real low for a little bit until our biscuits are done. Need a whole lot of gravy because I'm just making enough for me, so of extra biscuits. My Bella dog will probably eat some of my biscuits for me. <clears throat> it's only 5 30 in the morning here. <laughs> Get a little bit more milk in here. It's getting real thick already. 
cooking since I was like six, seven years old, so. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're the same time zone there, Envious. Yeah, I'll share with you, Envious, come on over. Well, that says we got to check our biscuits there. Also, I got these awesome little pepper grinders, off, salt and pepper grinders off Amazon. They have a flashlight, so you can use them in bed. If you're one of them big booty foody people that uh, eats in bed. You can have that there with a nightlight on your pepper grinder. Okay, let's check the biscuits here. They need a little bit longer. We'll get something here and turn them around. gas oven if I turn them they cook more even. Check the bottom, see how they're doing okay. My oven you tends to burn the bottom. Hey Marge, love you. So get some good pepper mixed in here. Sausage and onions and good stuffs. Club Barrows. <laughs> hey Barrows, what's up, brother? Yeah, I've been up since like 2 a.m. So finally decided I'd start cooking something. Usually I'm lucky if I get up early enough to make cereal before I gotta be out the door. more flour in here thicken your up just just a hair simmer down uh. Look real good. Give our biscuits a minute, and we'll uh, top some off there. You could just do a nice little little stream this morning. I didn't do my stream last night. I'm running off my cell phone, so yeah we need we needed to get the big b up to the shop he got to get out of the house and do things or he's going to be lost right and just go over there and work and talk and everything really helps him out so i don't know what happens when you end up when you're down and out and you just sit around the house <laughs> ain't a good outcome so Definitely got to go uh, get your pops out and do things with them. Okay, let's check biscuits here. Got to keep a close eye on them biscuits. They'll get overdone real quick. We're just going to use paper plate this morning. <clears throat> then I ain't going to wash my fancy schmancy ones. 
Been a while since I did a cooking stream, so I figured I better do her. Hey, Indeed AI, how you doing, my friend? Appreciate you coming. Merry Christmas to you also, my friend. <clears throat> okay, I think our biscuits are ready here. Get them out and take a look here. Nice and golden brown on the top. Bottoms aren't burnt. Did a good job today. See this little oven, it tends to, to burn the bottoms if I'm not careful. We'll just uh, take three or four of these and throw them on the plate here. Make us an order of biscuits and gravy, sir. Okay. Almost decided to just go drive to North Highway Cafe this morning. Like, yeah, I can make better food than that at home. Let this <clears throat> cool down for a minute. Nice thick gravy. Look at that. Nice and thick. Cut one of the pipes off my T-Bird last night, and the outlet on it was completely stuffed full of crap. I don't even know what it is. Almost looked like it was clear full of dirt. I'm pretty sure when I get the old pipes even just cut off, it's going to breathe a whole lot better. Yeah, and then like... Freaking... Uh, the little knob, it don't even really have a line. You just kind of guess when it's about right. The thermostats are pretty questionable on them, so you know I got a tiny bit of gravy left in here. I'm go throw it on there. My mom always loved biscuits and gravy. There we go, guys. Quick little clean your fridge out awesome biscuits and gravy ought to taste phenomenal I'm gonna top it off with the let's go with some uh, fiery habanero sauce put a little burn in you in the morning Oh, that was a little, a little carried away there. That'll help you wake up. <clears throat> Dump a bunch of habanero in there. Yeah, them little, little gas ovens. I love cooking on gas. Nothing, not much beats gas. But. <laughs> yeah, I see, it got a little, a little carried away with the freaking habanero this morning. Then, in the name of my good buddy Buck, let's get bucked up with some uh, bucked up energy this morning. Bucking ain't right. Bucked up energy and habanero sauce. Hey, hello, my friend. Kiat. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Not sure. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. And we'll chug an energy drink and eat biscuits and gravy this morning. Hit my head on the thing here. Let's see. See? Almost a half hour live stream. I already got breakfast done. That was pretty quick. I'll clean my table off here and we'll come to the living room. Okay. Let me 
move my computer here. I need to sit down on my couch and eat. <coughs> oh, horrible guy. I'm going to cook all this food and then eat in front of you guys. So much I can share. And you can see all that red on there. A lot of hot sauce. I'm going to need a second table so I can eat. One for my computer and one for my food. Mmm. <laughs> That's good stuff. <clears throat> the gravy is like the most simple thing ever, and it beats the heck out of them little store-bought package you pay a couple bucks for. <clears throat> Just good old flour and milk. I think that's all they have in them. Flour, powdered milk, a little pepper, whatever. Hey, Mikey, what's up? Yeah, bro. That's going to be a lot of good breakfast. I'm going to be fat. Forgot my bucked up energy. I got to gotta have my strength. I got to go clean horse stalls and get like two or three more ready today. Probably do about six stalls today. Here in a couple weeks, I'll have ten horses in the barn. I'll be training by myself. Did a pretty good job this morning with breakfast. <clears throat> it's the bomb.com. <laughs> yeah, I kind of waddle after eating so much food. <clears throat> hey, Wilma. How you doing, my friend? Appreciate you coming. Uling, love you, baby Uling. Uling, 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 Uling. Ah, uh, I love my baby Uling. They got this at the discount store, the Bucked Up Energy. These things are like three, four dollars a piece. Got them for like ninety nine cents each. I bought like forty eight of them or something. <clears throat> I'm very good, Wilma. How are you? Couldn't sleep, so I got up real early and made breakfast. Oh, Merry Christmas, Uli. <clears throat> Here in a couple of days, my friend Cheryl will be headed home to the Philippines for Christmas. Can't wait to see her. She hasn't seen her family in like six, seven years, so she can go home and spend some time with them. That'll be great. Yeah, sometimes I do outrun the horses. It's a lot of work working 10 racehorses by yourself. <clears throat> it was a lot of work when I had a helper. The guy that 
worked with me, he had a stroke, so he just helps clean their house now and does some little stuff. He's like 67 years old. <clears throat> mm. Get my horses done. <clears throat> I'll probably go over and hang out with my cousin Barrow's garage. Again today, we're going to get his dad out. He spent like a month on the couch, not being able to do a whole lot. So we're uh, we're trying to get him up about doing some projects. So get him out there using his noodle, helping us figure things out. Yeah, I have uh, 20, 21 cows out there, too. <clears throat> Last year, when my buddy had a stroke, I ended up spending the whole winter feeding by myself. So I'd drive out there with the John Deere tractor. I'd get it going in a straight line down the lands out in the field. And then I'd leave the, I'd put the tractor down real slow. I'd jump out of the tractor, run back to the trailer. I'd throw hay. Every once in a while, I hit some bumps and stuff. And the tractor gets going off, so I straighten it back out. Hey, bad boy. And I get back out, jump back on the trailer, and finish feeding my hay. Hey, Annabella. Done cooked me some good breakfast in my, my favorite frying pan, Mr. Peter Pan. <clears throat> My sister Annabella is the one who gave me my amazing frying pan that I used to cook this delicious breakfast. Mmm. When you get a pan from your twin sister, it makes everything taste like love. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. I'm almost halfway done already there, Mikey. <clears throat> it's it's going down fast. I've been up since like two AM, Annabella, so I blame part of it on drinking like a half gallon of tea before I went to bed. <clears throat> Probably not one of my smarter choices. Everyone needs a little Annabella in their life. She's the bestest. Hey, Marissa, Bellamia, how you doing? Wasn't really the tea that keeping me awake. It's the, uh, what rhymes with tea I had to do after drinking so much tea. Running the bathroom all night. How's my amazing friend Marissa this morning? Been quite a while since I did a cooking show, so... I get these big half gallon deals of diet green tea with citrus I would get them at my discount store for like 99 cents they're regular like $4 each so buy cases of that stuff <clears throat> Zero calories, zero sugar, all that. So, 
a little better for you than the soda pops. I'm trying to eat myself to death so I don't have to go to work. <clears throat> Ugh. Sounds ugly, Mikey. We have a warm week this week. Mm. My phone's over there, but I think it's like 33 already this morning. Cells or Fahrenheit, and uh, supposed to get up like 40 something like every day this week and only get down in 30s, 40s at night. So, oh, 20s and 30s at night. <clears throat> Been down like 15 at night and like 30 in the day. So, <clears throat> I've been out getting a lot of projects done. Trying to get a lot of videos put out for you guys. Oh, I'll show you my phone now. I got to come up with some money and pay my phone off because I still owe almost $600 on it. And it's dying. <laughs> show you my... My camera started shaking and going crazy. Yeah, that's about where we're at, Annabelle. I think like 44, something like that. <clears throat> Man, all this warm breakfast, I'm starting to sweat. Should put a t-shirt on. It's already like 72 in here. Show you what my phone did last night. Had a light streak just going all the way through the screen. So a hard time reading certain stuff in that. Yeah, stupid screen's going. So, now I got a screen going. Turned black down here. It's turning black over here in the corner. Time for a new phone. Got my landing, landing sticker on my phone there. Got one on the bottom too, but the magnet covers it. Yeah, I slid my case back on last night and it light streak went across the phone that was my very first sticker that i ordered i ordered them way too small to see on a car <laughs> but my 62 t-bird on there but yeah my phone's about to crap out so <clears throat> next month i'm gonna put aside some money and pay it off i think go trade it in on a new s23 ultra i won't get another flip one They've, it's lasted pretty good i'm just gonna get a good flat one with a good warranty but that's as straight as it'll go it's supposed to go all the way straight you can set it down and it just rocks the hinges get messed up in here and uh, it's like 400 dollars at least to have the hinges fixed <clears throat> I should start a new video series called Fat Man Eats. I can just do videos every time I eat. Be a lot of good content, right? Hey, Miss Divine Rose. How you doing, my friend? Love you. Appreciate you coming. Oh, it says it's 29 now this morning. Pretty warm. Yeah, it's supposed to be about that most of the week and like today, tomorrow. 40 degrees Thursday Friday supposed to hit 43 looks like Saturday we might see some snow so maybe we'll get some snow for Santa to come in <clears throat> if not Santa will have to put the the landing gear wheels down actually has wheels that come down under the skis if he needs them especially for the the warmer climates when he goes to visit all my Filipino friends that don't have snow there. Some locations he can actually land on the sand with the skis as long as he has them waxed real good. But 
Yeah, that's Santa. He knows what he's doing. He's been at it for a while. Talking so much, my food's starting to get cold. Man, there's so much food. <clears throat> Appreciate all my amazing friends coming and having breakfast with me. I think I've seen that the famous Lynn Kenning was on here this morning. My friend Rhea's on. Oh, Lynn Kenning had a premiere this morning. Okay. My Chaco baby. Miss Chaco Joy. You look up her uh, birthday grand live stream that's coming up for Christmas here. <clears throat> Let me share it out with y'all. Oh, Choco Joy's live. Okay, she started a little early. I'll have to finish up here pretty soon so we can go over there. Let's see. <clears throat> Birthday grand live stream. Here you go. I will share her out here. Oh man, I'm not going to sleep that night. That's going to be an insomnia night. She starts at 1.15 a.m. There's no way I'm missing my Choco Joy's birthday. She's one of my amazing... Influencer girls, there's a link for her uh, birthday. Make sure y'all are connected and uh, <clears throat> go check out her birthday show. It ought to be fun. Here, when that gets up off the bottom from behind that stupid heart thing down here, I don't ever eat too much. I don't know what you're talking about, Mikey. It won't me let me click on the link. What the heck? Can't pin my thing. I always pin my links and stuff. So I can click on anybody else's and hit pin message, but I can't click on my own. So, yeah, make sure you're connected to Choco Joy. She's a really awesome friend of mine. <clears throat> I'm one of the sponsors for her grand live stream. Hey, Ari, what's up, brother? Didn't see you up there hiding. Couldn't sleep, so we're eating biscuits and gravy. It's almost gone, Mikey. I got the bucked, bucked up energy. It's the official en energy drink of Buck Does It. <laughs> Mikey thinks four biscuits and a whole pan of gravy is too much for breakfast. Just doesn't understand what it takes to run a machine like this. A lot of horsepower here. <clears throat> One day I'm going to go hang out with Annabella. Maybe I'll have to get in the 429 John Deere Green Thunderbird and drive my butt all the way across country to Tennessee. And I'm going to have a case of these and I'm going to drink them and we're going to hang out and get crazy. Crazy. 
maybe go cow tipping or something. Mikey, that's in a couple hours after the coffee makes its way through. <clears throat> Mmm. Maybe we can find a couple of donkeys we can ride around. So we can... Spend some time riding that ass. <laughs> Donkeys are really crazy. <clears throat> Had a good talk yesterday with our local uh, ditch donkey. Our favorite ditch donkey in the whole world. <clears throat> I still got my Christmas present from the ditch donkey sitting right here. Being sharp, too. She said all the things. You know how it is. Like, shut up, Nico. <laughs> we was talking about how special I am. The military gave me a patch that says I'm special. I got a coin from the military that says I'm special. So I'm government certified special. I'm telling her that. Since I was in the special ops, since she's my friend, the government watches her poop. You said now that when she goes to the bathroom, she's going to wave at the government people watching her. I don't know why, Annabella, but the government always watching people poop. They're weird. Pretty sure uh, Biden has a little TV right there on his desk in the presidential office that just shows people pooping all day. It's a load of shit. Ha! <laughs> See here, get my my Choco Joys link here, so that when I get done here, we can all go say hi to my beautiful Choco Joy. <clears throat> That's why all the influencers kind of run away, over supporting my baby over there. Share, there we go. Yeah, Mikey, it's a shitty job, but somebody has to do it. And then the paperwork. It can be a mess. <clears throat> I swear this is like a five pound breakfast. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
I'm going to get done. I'm going to have to hashtag this live stream of mukbang. Okay, now I'm done eating my 10 pounds of breakfast. Right? OnlyFans is cool, dude. <clears throat> Ate my 10 pound breakfast. Now, I'm going to go uh, release the Bella. She's on my bed, and when I grab a biscuit, she's going to come running. So she'll come say hi to everybody. Bella is the only name for this dog because she's so amazing, like my fabulous sister, Annabella. I had to name her after her. Did I tell you you have that yet? No. Do you want this? You want a biscuit, huh? I love my dog. She's a big turd. My dad, like, was all excited yesterday. He was out playing with my dog, and she played with him, and he thought that was the coolest thing ever. <clears throat> oh. Now I'm actually tired. Could probably sleep now. Right? I love, I love doggies. Drop a link for who? My Choco Joy? You can go here in a minute. There's my baby Choco Joy. She's got a... Her birthday's like on Christmas pretty much. Oh, you want to come up here? I get you. We'll get the crazy Bella up here this morning. <clears throat> Ain't nobody got time for that. They did something. I don't know. I can't freaking pin my own links on uh, YouTube right now. I can just show them over here. It's weird. Click on my own link. It doesn't give me any options. It doesn't even have the little... Circle-y deals at the end. YouTube's must have messed something up. There's my honey. Hey. Hi, honey. Hello, honey. <laughs> you get your monetization stuff done? No, I got to do that today. I got to get on there today and do it. Uh, but it says that I'm a YouTube partner now, so thank you. For everyone who watched my videos, yes. You're amazing. I'm so excited. Me too. Mikey oh. really helped a whole lot. I appreciate him so much. Mikey's awesome. <clears throat> come here. Come here. You gotta come see your auntie. Come here. <laughs> She's like running around like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Dad's Hello, talking. Bella. Hi, pretty girl. Yeah. She's a good <laughs> kid. Huh. And my dad's like, oh, and over there and start talking to your dog. And she started playing with me. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's a better relationship than before. <laughs> He's only got one chicken left. Oh, my word. They keep 
dying, getting killed, or whatever. We found one, I think, skunks or coyotes or raccoons, something got it. Oh, my word. Had a few that wasn't laying eggs, so they butchered them the other day. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think when the one's done, we're done with chickens. Oh, really? <coughs> Keep telling him get rid of them, and he wants to go everywhere, and then he wants me to take care of them. Oh, yeah. That's hard, man. I'm like, I got enough crap to take care of. <laughs> I want chickens. I get my own. Yeah, animals are a pain. Well, chickens are hard, even here. Because of we have issues with coons slitting their yeah. throats. They don't eat them. They just kill them. No, ours eat them. Yeah, I've, I've shot a lot of coons out here. Yeah. My Clarabelle's getting big. Yeah? Yeah, she's big. I would turn my camera on, but I'm still in my pajamas. And I still got bedhead. It's only it's seven... 20 here this morning. <laughs> yeah. What time is it there? 6.20. Yeah. I slept until about 6.30. Yeah. I, I couldn't sleep very good. And somebody was texting me at like 2.30 in the morning. I couldn't I'm out. get back to sleep. And then, yeah. Like, I should drive to town and have breakfast. And I'm like, now nah, I'll make breakfast. Yeah. So Sometimes that's best. Got my fancy frying pan out. Absolutely. I love that thing, too. Cooked me some gravy and some biscuits out of leftovers. <laughs> no, it wants outside. Hey, Bo. Girl got to pee. What do you got planned for today? Oh, I'm going to go work and then I'll probably go over my cousins again. We're kind of doing some little stuff. And his dad had some real bad problems with his cancer and stuff again. So we drug him out to the shop yesterday and got him out of the house. Oh, yeah, that's good. He's pretty much just been laying on the couch for a whole month. Bless him. I know that feeling. <clears throat> yeah. Is it his depression or is it his situation? Oh, he can like barely move. We go up to the house and get him and walk with him out to the shop and sit down, kind of get him to give us his input on everything and yeah. Make him part of the project and we do the work and stuff kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, Landon. Y'all keep doing that. Just watch his falls. Mitchie didn't have a wrench there. Yeah, he that's the problem. He they went to the vet a while back and he had something going on. He collapsed almost died right there in the vet clinic. Yeah, you told me that's scary. Yeah. Yeah, we was pretty worried. So, yeah, my cousin died the other night. He was ninety years old. Oh my gosh! My yeah, aunt, you know, he couldn't move. He couldn't remember who anyone was. He was he was pretty well gone. Bless him. Really cool guy. He actually gave me some stamp books that he collected while he was in the Navy from all over the world. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Now that's cool. There's like 1800 stuff in there and stuff. Oh my gosh, Landon. That's like amazing. There's a lot of history there. Yeah. No. Oh. Let's see if I can grab this. Let's see here. Yeah, he gave me like three different books. One of these got like, yeah, he's got all his letters and stuff from family and that in here, like e Ecuador. Oh, I have a bunch of those, not from Ecuador, but those envelopes. I have a bunch yeah. of those from uh, my 
oldest son's dad whenever he was overseas. Yeah, this is a four in one. It's got like little spots. You put all the stamps in there. That is so cool. Pretty good. You got this little one here. It's a world one. You know, stamp collecting is a lost art now. Yeah. Yeah, there's even like full little pages and stuff with stamps in there. That I mean, is so neat. I mean, it's got all the Italian ones with naked ladies and stuff on them. Oh my gosh. He's filled these suckers up. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> one of these has oh well, it's this one it's like all the different places he went in the navy he wrote them down in here it has all the years and stuff oh wow yeah so cool. a lot of stuff but, you keep that forever yeah, quite the guy but yeah, some of these go through the years, and there's stamps back in, like, the 1860s, 1870s, whatever. Kind of old. Yeah, I'd say. <coughs> oh. Copper roll is on the live twice. Yeah. Yeah, Barrow's got his dad on his live streams a couple times. He's a... Freaking, he ran a mechanic shop. He, well, by the time he retired, he had his big shop built at his house. Was in town, the taxes got so ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> Mike, you want to know if there's a list of infections he got in there? <laughs> 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 Gotta love Mikey. <laughs> Wait, sport in Bangkok in 1932. Esmeralda has some extra tackle. Claire. She Claire. had the most beautiful Adam's apple I ever seen. Clara, no, 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 no. Uh oh, Claire is in trouble. She's crying. I'm upstairs putting my face on because I've got to go to the. Uh, I had to go to the cancer treatment center this morning to get some blood work done. Um, and she's down there at the foot of the steps crying. Makes me feel bad, but she can't come up here because she'll fall. Yeah. Wait till she gets big. Yeah. <laughs> Not coordinated enough yet. <laughs> no. Not at all, Landon. She's tiny. They told me at the vet they don't think that she'll get bigger than 10 pounds. Yeah. Which, that's what her mama and daddy were, were 10 pounds. I think last time I took, when I took Bella into the vet, she was like 45. She's a big girl. She's a beautiful yeah. girl, too. How old is she now? She's probably like going on three. Oh, my gosh. I think I've had her about a year and a half or so now. Yeah, I know you've had her for almost two years or so or close to yeah. that. I got her file right here. I just seen it yesterday. <laughs> well, Clara was born September 30th. Yeah. So she's just a little one. <clears throat> Mine's a pound puppy, so just guessing everything on her. But yeah, those are the best ones to get. Sometimes, honestly, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> they're there for a reason. <laughs> 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 I had one dog. You could take him out for like two hours, like yeah. little rock books, and you walk him all day. And as soon as you walk in the house, he'd walk over and he'd look straight at you and he'd squat down and take a big old shit, like right in the middle of the living room. Oh my gosh. And then he'd walk over and like piss all down the wall and everything. And it's like, dude, we literally just walked like four miles. Oh my damn. Yeah, he, he didn't stay long. But That's he strange. Liked to run, he liked to run away too. 
Oh, we did? Yeah. I had the most beautiful husky up there in Alaska, though. I saw a husky at the vet the other day when I took Claire to get her booster. I yeah. love their eyes. Their eyes are beautiful. Yeah, my uh, my sister went and got... Well, my sister got a husky. <clears throat> and... They, they keep their dogs, like, out on a little tiny tie thing. They don't let them run or anything. Aww. And huskies, you have to have so much room. That's, like, all they want to do is run. They need to, you know? Yeah. And then she got, like, it, it kind of ate her kid's face. Oh, my God. And she literally probably kept the dog for at least four months after it ate her kid's face. I don't, I don't get that, but... Do we talk to this sister? Not really. Let's see here. Let me see. There's a little guy with his face all eaten off. Oh, my damn. Finally, she Boy. brings it out, and she's like, oh, if, if we bring it out, will you guys take care of it? And so she had her like little boyfriend come out and bring this dog out so my dad could put it down let's see it was, it was probably like a good four months after it tried to eat her kid and now she has this like super aggressive akita that does nothing but bark all day and they have it like chained by their front door oh my god <clears throat> i think they have another husky too and it's like geez you don't need animals you can't take care of them <laughs> They're probably aggressive because they're chained up. Yeah. You think? You got to take care of them, you know, socialize them, stuff like that. I agree. And Dean said huskies are good. If your car breaks down, they can tow it. <laughs> Friend had a husky puppy, locked it in the kitchen, ate the kitchen and the door, then destroyed the living room in a brand new house. Oh, my word. I had a, a silver uh, German Shepherd when I was at Mountain Home. Yeah. And she was, like, super good. And then the, the same people, they had a white golden retriever they were trying to get rid of. Yeah. And my ex wanted it so bad, so she went and picked this dog up. And as soon as she put them together, like, both of them were, like, the worst dogs you ever seen. And the, the golden retriever had, like, separation anxiety. Aww. And put it in the crate, and it'd work its way over to the wall and, like, eat all the baseboards. And the one day, uh, she went in the house, and she's like, oh, I'll take care of it. So she went in the house and locked it in the bathroom. And we got back from town, and the door was gone. All the wall was gone. I mean, everything was trashed. So oh my god rid of both of them because we got rid of the golden retriever and the german shepherd wouldn't settle back down to normal so we ended up having to find them a new home <laughs> it was good because i i've talked to the people and they they still have them and really good dogs so awesome that is a good story i, I like that story when i got out of the military i had to get rid of my baby dog I'll find a picture and send you freaking Clarabelle fit in his nose, probably. <laughs> That's funny. I, I got him off some guy for free up in Boise. What was it? 220 pound Great Dane English Mastiff mix. Oh, they are massive. Yeah, he stood up to here on me. His head oh my gosh. Flooded, was up to my chest. And he was the sweetest thing you ever seen. Oh, I wish I had a King Corso Lemmy. Those are awesome. But, uh, yeah, when I was getting out of the military, they'd get rid of him because uh, I was gone and my ex went home to Alaska and it would have cost over $3,000 to have a crate custom built to put him in and fly him up there. Yeah. And, uh, they took him and gave him to this family that had a little baby. And he literally, he walked over and he like looked at the baby, got right in its face and like licked it real nice on the cheek. 
and he laid down right there and the, the the dude's like so do you think it'll hurt the baby i said no i don't think anything will ever hurt that baby <laughs> not now <laughs> the dog likes the baby <laughs> anything touches it's gonna die <laughs> so what how's it doing now uh i haven't talked to them in several years but he's probably gone by now <clears throat> this was like nine ten years ago oh yeah it's like 13 14 that's the worst thing about the great big dogs they don't they last long about six eight years i love great danes i was um, a friend of mine from high school <clears throat> had a um <clears throat> it looked like a dalmatian landon but it was a great dane it was spotted up like a dalmatian oh yeah i've seen them like that they were oh she was so sweet my neighbor over here, he's got them. I think he's still got them. I haven't seen him in a while. He had two, and his were actually like 13 years old. Oh, uh, that's a, that's amazing. Yeah, he's like, I don't know how, but they just keep chugging along. And his big, big male Titan, he had cancer and had like half of his intestines and stuff removed. And he's oh my still gosh. chugging along, you know? Yeah. I say, especially the big ones, like six, eight years is old for him. It is. It really is. So he's a good daddy. Like 13, 14 years old for a great Dean. That's like unheard of. It really is. That's impressive. Like the little dogs live a long time. Not near long enough, but. Yes. Uh, Tinkerbell was 17 when she uh, took her last nap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it had like chihuahuas and stuff live up to be in their like late twenties. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard that's what the vet told me that the chihuahuas live forever. But I don't. The chihuahuas that I've been around, they bark too much. <laughs> yeah, I think there was one seen on some deal that was like a world record. And it, I think it was a chihuahua, and it was, like, around 30 years old. Wow, that is crazy. I that has one. a lifespan of a turtle. Turtles can live forever. <clears throat> yeah, Bobby lived to be 30 years and 268 days. Wow. Wow. A friend of uh, mine has a 35-year-old turtle he got when he was a kid. <laughs> Turtles live a long time. Yeah. I could not believe it. My mom. So he and his wife were going on a cruise, and he was looking for a babysitter. And... I was like, well, how old is it? He's like, oh, he's 35. And I was like, how old? <laughs> he said 35. Could not believe oh, it. This, this wasn't even a, a, a little dog that set the record. It was a new new world record set in February this year. What, what was it? Doesn't really say. Looks like kind of a big cow dog. Oh, a shepherd dog. One of those cow herding dogs. I'll show you her right here. Has the Guinness Book of World Records certificate. Except for that it just had an ad pop up. There you go. Oh my goodness, look. Is it a little girl? Lived to be almost 31 years old. I think it's a boy. That's amazing. Had I love name. to see him live a long time. See, Spike was the oldest, or a 23-year-old Chihuahua mix from Ohio was named the oldest living dog now. Now, our oldest living dog, now he was been utterly dethroned. Bobby is 30 years old, 268 days. So, I think he's still alive. That is amazing. But, yeah, that's a problem with dogs you get so attached and they just kill over <laughs> uh-huh like tinkerbell was 17 and i found one uh i was doing what you're doing now is 
in denial, basically. And I looked it up and there were some in the UK that had lived to be 20 something years old. But they're not expected to live past 15. Yeah. Yeah. Or, well, what, maybe 14. I can't remember. It was 14. About I think. 12, 14 is about as long as most dogs ever make it. Yeah. I'm Bella. <laughs> there for a minute, I thought Bella's life was going to be cut short by your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> she was pushing to make it three. <laughs> I never will forget that. And I was like, oh my God, no. <laughs> well, Bella, Bella is, she's a shit when she wants to be. Especially if she don't get her attention. Oh, she yeah. She ate the cord off my pellet smoker like three times this summer. Dad moved it outside the yard. What's a pellet smoker? Oh, the cook, the grill thing? A little Traeger barbecue deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. I love you. Hmm? Daddy loves you, Bubby. Huh. That's our little mascot for your channel. <laughs> right? And she gets more views than I do. <laughs> I got some videos starting to take off my older ones. Are you really? That's amazing. I love it when that happens. I got a tire changing one that's over 1,700 views now. Oh, I wow. $11 off of it. That is, that's what I'm talking about right there. I just, honestly, the <clears throat> monetization is cool to have. It was like a milestone that I reached. Nah. But what's the most important thing to me is when people watch and they get something from it and it makes them feel better about who they mm -hmm. are and where they're at in life, you know, because at the end of the day, helping someone is what my goal was from the very beginning. Um, because there's so much ugly in this world. And if somebody can shed some light on it, it's not that bad. It's just, oh, a, yeah. it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just one chapter. It's not the whole book. We'll get through this. Just hang on. You know, we're going to get back. <laughs> That's what's important to me. But your videos are so funny. I don't see how you haven't gone viral. <laughs> yeah, I'll get there. Just saying, because, oh, my God. I do some okay. wild stuff. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you your goggles me. kill me. Yeah, my buddy Lars started the goggles. Goggle gang. Yeah, the, the Lars with the big beard that does the cooking videos and all that crazy stuff. Yeah. He was the goggle guy. I still, his, his freaking uh, peach cobbler video is like best ever. We're like running around getting stuff out from under logs and in boats and stuff. Was it you that introduced me to that fella that was cooking some kind of stuff outside and he had all the ingredients hid all over the yard? Yeah, that's the <laughs> one that started the goggles. I love that guy. <laughs> Lars is hilarious. I don't see how he hasn't gone viral. Oh, my word. That video alone. I just love him. He's a hoot. Yeah, he pretty much does all his videos on JB's channel, so he really doesn't even have very many subscribers. Yeah, I had oh, a video about 2,000 views last night. Oh, really? It Which one? Short. It was a short about my valve covers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I got a slide-away steering wheel one on my Thunderbird, like 24 away from 10,000 views. That's that's awesome. Yeah, you're getting out there, Bubba. Yeah, one. Yeah, I think this is my biggest video is my tire changing one. I got one thousand seven hundred and forty-five views. Yeah. Ten dollars and fifty-seven cents off of it. How much? Ten dollars and fifty-seven cents. That is amazing. Off so, do they just mail you a check, or they direct deposit it? <clears throat> It's direct deposited, 
and you can uh, set your threshold on your uh, Google AdSense. Uh, I just left mine where it's at standard. It's a hundred dollars. So every if I hit a hundred dollars by a certain day on like the twenty first of the month, they direct deposit it in my account. What happens if you don't? It just rolls over to the next month. It just keeps rolling over. And like I say, you can set your payment threshold to where it's clear up, or just set it to where it holds it, pretty much. Oh yeah. Okay, that's. And cool. then you just have like a savings account. Then when you decide to, you can just go on there and set it different and have it pay all out. Yeah, I'll, it'll probably take me six months to get a hundred dollars, but <clears throat> my cousin Barrow, mm -hmm. he's he's done a lot of a lot of stuff, and he's got a lot of big videos that have tens of thousands of views. He's never got a check from YouTube. It's Why? all still in his AdSense. Oh, he just holds it out. Yeah, he's never never taken a check from him. So yeah, I think he said his one video on he did a review of some like little twenty dollar Bluetooth speakers with like a shop light thing in them. You can adjust them and use them for mechanic lights or whatever. I think he said he's got four hundred dollars off that video on a review on them. Oh wow, Mikey. Mikey. You need to go visit my friend Pinky. She does some cool stuff. I do. Me and Pinky, we we play uh, Modern Warfare Three and slaughter people together. <laughs> yeah, she's like an amazing, gorgeous person. Oh, that's always good. Yeah, makes it easier to watch, don't it? Yeah. And she's been doing like crime stuff, and doing videos on a dude that's put to death. Oh shit! Yeah, Kevin Underwood. Where was she from? I don't know. <laughs> she went to Kevin Underwood's house. There's a guy that lives in my town named that. <laughs> That's why I'm like, holy hell. Hope he went a killer. Pull up one of her videos here. And... Hey, Eva, how you doing? We're going to pull up one of her videos and I'll get a link here and people can connect to her. <laughs> One of my shorts of my daddy's dog got more views than anything that I've ever had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have a short of a Rambler ambassador in the junkyard. Mm -hmm. had like 14,000 views in a day. Dang. That was, I think that's still my most viewed short. My buddy Buck. I think my cousin did it on one too. Maybe I don't think he got as many, but my buddy Buck, he got over a million views cleaning a motor with a oven cleaner. They're doing the easy off oven cleaner to take all the grease off of a motor. Uh -huh. You spray it on there, let it soak, and then pressure wash it all off. And yeah, I think he got like 1.4 million views on it. There was, I was watching somebody rebuild a, a DeLorean <laughs> yeah. and it had a lot of rust and stuff underneath it and a bunch of buildup because it was in an old barn and they yeah. used some machine that looked like a power washer, but it had a chemical in it and it mm -hmm. would just make it go back to original. It was so amazing to watch. Yeah. I have no idea what it was. It's a machine <laughs> that you rent. They have a laser deal now that takes the rust off. It just like flickers laser over there. And when it gets done, it's like brand new metal. Yeah. Yeah. That's how this thing was. It just looked like a pressure washer, but it was something else. Yeah. There's a lot of crazy stuff out there, but I, I'm stuck with a piece of sandpaper. Yeah. Not that fancy yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Eva. 
Got some new, awesome new peoples in here. How many people you got in chat? Uh, 17. A bunch of took off. I think the influencers and that all took off when uh, my friend Choco Joy started her live. You're pretty quick. Well, I got to get off and get ready for work. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you let me up. It's always good to be here. And I thank you so much. Yeah, anytime. Always good to see my sister. <laughs> All right, Bubba. I love you. I'm going to drop down. Okay. We'll catch you later. All right. Love you. Yeah, there you go. Got my crazy sister out here finally. No, <laughs> it's been a while since I had anybody come up. Yeah, 16 and a half. Uh, Dean only counts as half a person. His kiwi's only half full. Let's, uh, I'm going to drop a link here. You've been at work for three hours already. I probably won't be to work for two hours total. I'm too lazy to work that long. Yeah, I love Mikey. I love my Annabella. I've done met her on here and. She's my twin sister now. I mean, her so much alike, it's crazy. So she she made me her twin. I'm going to end my live stream here. Appreciate all y'all coming out and everything. If you can, please go over to my friend from the Influencers, Miss Choco Joy. Get over there and uh, meet some cool people. Grow your channel if you want, stuff like that. I am here because connected maybe during pandemic, I think. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I dropped link there for Choco Joy. Like say, uh, go over there and tell her Landon sent you. She'll take care of you. I'm her, her Nino, godfather in the Philippines. And uh, I'm kind of the Nino for all the, the Filipinos. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, they're, they're awesome friends of mine. The influencers, I just ordered a shirt from, uh, Yanny TV's site. She's the, the head of the influencers. I got on her, uh, page and ordered me an influencer shirt with all my girls on there and lazy boy. So, hey, appreciate it, Dean. We're going to close up here and I hope I'll see y'all over at Choco Joy's live. Like I say, just tell her Landon sent you and. She'll take care of you. <laughs> Good to see y'all. Have a great day. Oh, I will, Pinky. Love you. Take care. We'll see y'all on the next one. Have a good day. <laughs>